And how do you perform well? Is by eating right when the time is right. Oh my god, someone can like quote that. That was good. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's Jacoby. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about what I like to eat or what you can eat for pregame, in between games, after the game, before practice, all that stuff. Because it's so important to fuel your body correctly before you play, because trust me, you will perform better. Before we get started, make sure you watch all the way to the end of the video because I have my best tips at the end. So let's get it. First and foremost, we're gonna start with pre-practice practice food. Now, pre-practice food and pre-practice and pre-game food is very different, okay? Personally, this is what I like to eat. Once again, I'm disclaimer, I'm not a dietitian, I'm not a doctor, I'm not you. So if you don't like what I eat, that's okay. Like, eat what you like, but this is just my suggestions. I'm just putting it out there into the world. For pre-practice food, typically, I would have a meal, like one, two, three, but like three hours before, like a solid lunch. Like I'm talking like a salad, like a protein, maybe like chicken, a fat, um, some kind of like, avocado something or something like that um and a carb like rice noodles whatever that's usually what i would eat before practice and then um maybe an hour before practice i get a little snacky and i feel like Ooh, and i want to perform better so i'll have like a cliff bar and a protein shake or a cliff bar and a banana like something like that and then during practice, I do get hungry sometimes. I don't know why, probably because I'm burning hella calories. But I have another Cliff Bar, I have another protein bar, something, like an, an apple, I don't know, something that's gonna give me quick sugar so I can go ahead and get through my workout or get through practice. Um, and then post-practice, that's when I grind down. That's when I have a really big dinner, usually. But also keep in mind that I have a high metabolism. This is just what I eat. But after practice, I like to have a lot of protein because my muscles have been deteriorated and I want to build them back up even stronger. So I usually have a protein shake or I'll have like, I'll go to like Chipotle and get like double meat and like rice, black beans, like all that vegetable stuff, salsa, all that good stuff and chow down, man. Let's move on to pre-game meals, right? Okay, so for usually for pre-game meal, like the night before, you wanna have like a pasta, like heavy carb, so you can last throughout the game, because usually the game is more grueling than practice, blah, 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 blah. I usually will have like spaghetti or something like that, um, fettuccine alfredo, like, and also guys, remember, I don't restrict myself, like I would don't promote that at all, like I just eat what I want, so. But I do keep in mind what's gonna make me perform the best at that time. So I will have like spaghetti, pasta the night before, and then in the day, I always make sure I have breakfast. I don't care if it's game day, rest day, practice day. I always have breakfast, usually. Um, <laughs> it is just so good for you. For me, it like it like kickstarts my metabolism and helps me eat more regularly throughout the day. And it doesn't make me feel sick to my stomach because if I skip breakfast, I feel it. Like I feel so sick. I'm like feel nauseated. I'm like, okay, I need to eat breakfast. So I always have a good breakfast, especially on game day though. Like, I'm talking like eggs, some kind of protein, or if you're vegetarian, some kind of vegetarian protein, whatever. Some kind of maybe like a rice or grits, um, toast, avocado, fruit, in a smoothie form, but I hate I hate eating fruit like normally. Gross. But a smoothie for sure, and like a protein smoothie at that. So that's usually what I'll have for breakfast. Or oatmeal is a really good breakfast because it's really filling, okay? That will fill you up. And that's what you want. You want to feel full, and not like horribly full to where you're like, oh, I feel sick. Like you want to feel satiated, right? So then we move on to lunch. Say this is like an afternoon game, right? It's like a 4 p.m., 5 p.m. game. For lunch, I will be having like a sandwich usually. You can never go wrong with a sandwich, like vegetables, deli meat. Like it's usually pretty light, but it's still filling. And I'll have like chips with it or something or pretzels or whatever. Or you can do like hummus and carrots. That's also busting, busting, busting. Very good. So now we're probably in the in-between, like almost you're about to warm up for your game. This is when I would have like a little snack, like a little bag of goldfish or a little bag of like veggie straws or a little bag of carrots. Just a little snack to keep me going. And then during the game, I usually don't eat because for some reason, maybe I'm nervous or something. Like during the game, I don't like to eat because I feel sick. I'm like, ooh, probably because I'm nervous or I'm just, my adrenaline's going, not very sure. Um, and then after the game, once again, protein, protein, protein. Like I'm busting down on a Chipotle bowl or if I'm cooking at home, I'll have like a piece of chicken, rice, broccoli maybe, like something like that. But now I'm gonna give you like some quick like recipe ideas. Cause if you're like me and you don't really like cooking or you don't have the capability to, cause I don't know what I'm doing. Like I just want simple, simple things. I'm gonna give you some recipe ideas for breakfast, lunch, and dinner and snacks. Breakfast, you can do eggs, toast, bacon, sausage, if that's your thing. Um, you can all eat those all at once if you'd like. Um, cereal is a good one cause it's quick, you know, but I don't really do like super sugary 
stuff in the morning just because of lunch. I don't know why. It just makes me feel sick in the morning. I don't know. That is so weird. Like if I'm gonna have something sweet, I have to something. I have to have something that's savory, like eggs or bacon, because I just can't handle all the sugar. You can also do oatmeal. Oatmeal once again is a great one. You can do overnight oats. You can do overnight protein oats. You can do protein balls, protein bars. Like there's so much that you can do. But what I suggest is not just picking one and going with that. I would eat multiple or like small amounts of multiple things just so you can get different nutrients so you don't feel like you're just, oh, I think eat this bowl of cereal and that's it. Like, no, I would have like a bowl of oatmeal, eggs, toast, hash browns, and smoothie, like something. Cause I gotta fill myself up, you know? Cause trust me, when you're an athlete, you're burning so many calories, like more calories than you know. So you need to replenish yourself. You need to replace like all the water you lost with drinking a bunch of water. You need to replace all the muscle that's been deteriorated with protein. Like it's important. So for lunch ideas, you can do like a fake like rum. You can do like a burrito bowl. You can do sandwiches. I love sandwiches. So you can get like turkey, ham, whatever your preference is, chicken. You can just make a sandwich. You can do tuna salad, which is really good because buffalo tuna salad I've made before is so good. Um, you can also make like a buffalo chicken dip. I've done that before, but I usually do it with like dairy free stuff just because I really don't do dairy that much. Um, but you can do whatever you want. You can also do like a fish and a vegetable and a rice. So I usually do like salmon. Yeah, that's pretty much all I do is salmon. <laughs> um, rice, white rice usually steamed and then maybe like broccoli because I just love steamed broccoli. It's just delicious to me. Um, you can also do like roasted vegetables and chicken or you can do chicken and rice. Like there's so many different variations, but what you want to aim for typically, um, what I aim for is like a vegetable, a carb and a protein. For dinner, I do like to go a little bit heavier. I don't know why. I don't know why, but usually I'll do like a spaghetti or do a chicken um, fettuccine. Uh, sometimes I'll do like, what is it called? Oh, sometimes I'll make like a soup. I don't know why I find soup more filling than actual like munchy food i don't know why did i just make that sound that was embarrassing um and by i don't make soup from scratch okay like i literally make canned soup like that's what i'm talking about <laughs> i also do like tacos or i'll make a quesadilla and my fillings will just be like chicken cheese like tomato onion lettuce like i just try to put a lot of vegetables on my stuff just because i won't even notice the vegetables because i'll be tasting the chicken <laughs> and lastly for snacks i love cliff bars specifically the peanut butter um flavor mm -mm -mm. so good but i do a cliff bar as a protein bar the alani new protein bars are pretty good um, I also do a protein shake. That's a good snack. You can do carrots and hummus. That's what I like. But if you like bell peppers, go for that. If you like, I don't know, tomatoes. I, I hate tomatoes, but if you like tomatoes, you like tomatoes. I sometimes like you can snack on like cucumbers and pickles or whatever. You know, there's a lot of things that you can snack on. But I try to snack on things that will make that are like nutrient dense that will make me feel like full or satiated for that moment. Because like if I'm just snacking on Sour Patch Kids, like sure they're amazing. I love Sour Patch Kids. Look, candy. I love candy. But like, it's not gonna fill me up as like a carrot and hummus wood or pita chips and hummus wood. It's just all about the nutrients, y'all. And also for dessert, like do, eat whatever you want, bro. And also I'm not saying this is what you have to eat all the time. Like I eat pizza, burgers, ice cream, chicken tenders all the time. Like if you watch my vlogs, you would know that. Like I literally <laughs> eat out all the time. It's all about balance and knowing when to eat certain things. Like for example, I'm not gonna eat fettuccine alfredo right before I play. Terrible idea because it's heavy and I'm gonna feel sick because I'm gonna be like moving around and just heavy way down, right? But if I eat like, I don't know, a little half of a turkey sandwich, I'm gonna be Gucci. That's what you gotta keep in mind, but do whatever you want. I'm not promoting restricting once again, like please do not think that is what you have to do to be a good volleyball player. All you need to do is just perform. And how do you perform well? It's by eating right when the time is right. Oh my God, someone can like quote that, that was good. All right guys, that's it for this video. I really hope you liked it. If you did, let me know in the comments. Make sure you like this video. It really helped me out. Um, subscribe, I don't know if I said that already. Also subscribe to my vlog channel, Jacoby Sims Vlogs, because I love the vlog. And if you like me and you like vlogs, go subscribe. Follow me on TikTok at Jacoby.Sims. It's a freaking party over there because I'm funny. <laughs> Do you think I'm funny? Anyways, I love you guys so much and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.